<laughs> Welcome back to my channel everyone. Today I'm going to be reacting to Season 4, Episode 6 of The Expanse. I just had a bit of a moment where I messed up, to be honest. I just um, forgot to press record. I've never done it before. It's been a little while since I um, recorded a video like this. So I, I just forgot all the setup, all the order of that I do things in, and I pro forgot the most important thing, and I suddenly thought, did I press record about five minutes into the episode? So I have watched the first five minutes already. I'm going to re-watch it so that you've got the full reaction, but it, but bear in mind that up to five minutes, I've seen it already, okay? Um, I did this whole big spiel about this these my cream egg that I was eating, and... Um, how I feel so sorry for Americans because I don't think you have cream eggs over there and I just think that's the worst thing in the world. But um, I'll do that really quickly. I think it's really sad that you don't have cream eggs. Um, and I'm eating them now. These are from my kids. The kids that I'm probably never going to see again because um, school got cancelled and they, all their exams were cancelled and everything they've worked for for the last two years that I've been working with them for has been cancelled. Oh. This chocolate's good. Mm. I got my peppermint tea. I got my chocolate. I got a cream mix for later. If you're intrigued, I might open it. <laughs> So let's go. I'm going to watch these four, first five minutes again. Season four, episode six of The Expanse. I, I don't know how I did that. It's a long episode, 48 minutes. I think that's longer than most of the episodes have been this season. So last week, when I think I had the vibes, I couldn't even taste anything. And I had things like, like, this is a peppermint tea, and I couldn't even taste it. But now I could taste it, it's so good to have it back in my life. One thing I will never get over when I watch The Expanse is just how good it looks compared to any other show that I watch on here. Just the quality, it just looks so great. Yeah, a gigantic reactor. It's just like a massive Chernobyl, I guess. It's, it's not going the way I hoped. <laughs> I mean, I don't know what he hoped. It doesn't make any sense. How long do we have? The here is eight to ten hours, with winds of around two hundred I mean, that gives them enough time, right? It's not like a crazy ninety minutes or something. Ten hours after that. Good work there, Holden. It's working really well. Jack's got something important to say. At least he got them listening for that. Tell your friend, the Secretary General, that we have the right to be here. I'm really glad he says yes to this because that is the right thing to do. Come on. And pledge to help our colony. But I give you my word. I give you my word. So. Bertolona! It's so. Holden. I don't know what she thought she would do if he didn't give his word. Was she just going to stay and let them all die? I mean, it doesn't. It's not going to work, mate. Where are you going? Mutiba, back to the Oh, I just wanted to go to university. Is Mama angry? She doesn't know yet, mate. She's worried. She thinks you're dead. It's a much nicer view from orbit. I'll be up there soon enough. Mm, some people are not going to make it, right? Did you? Was I meant to notice her itching her eye like that or scratching her eye like that? Is there a thing? Because I, I think someone else had something to say last episode. I never met anyone to get hurt. I'm not. All we talk about keeping the family together on here is, in your name, will never run away. Mm. Well, that's that then. Well, that went well. The physics of fusion have just stopped working. <laughs> So the physics of everything have always messed up in this program. Fuck! You take the okay at the word. It means that we have all lost contact with everyone on that godforsaken planet. Could you imagine just being like, 
on some planet with no way back whatsoever. God, the items are there and waiting, as agreed. <laughs> hey, what's new? Three, two, one. You're breaking the worst taste, that is the intent. <laughs> yes, that is the intent. Are you waiting for someone? Looks like she quite enjoyed that. Getting your one off the ground is only half the problem. The pop of Picola is too low. And it's not breaking for atmosphere. First things first. Not True, just get off the planet, it's a good start. You heard up the reactors? You actually gonna be on their side now? We should have level one up until the wave passes and they come back down and the new camp. He's gonna want all the inners to go first. You made yourself a part of all this. You are such a dick! Their ship is going down anyway. Bro, you are such a gesture of goodwill. Oh yeah, you're, 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 you've, you've got, got such gestures of goodwill. Why? This guy is just a saboteur. Like, there's no reason apart from I just want to be a pain in the arse. What the? Oh my god. What? <laughs> Someone asked in the Q and A who my favourite character in the Expanse was earlier. I forgot to answer it. I don't know how I missed the, the answer. Um, but um, it's Avastarala. Um, but then that's followed by Amos or Bobby are kind of like joint second. Stand by my vote. If we hadn't spared Mako's life, it would have divided the factions. We have to stay united. Hmm. I gotta say, I feel kind of used. <laughs> I can assure you, you were. <laughs> Is she actually quite enjoying the job now? Even though it's bad stuff. I told you people like this. Oh, Bobby. Why is she getting herself into I know she's been forced into it, but... Uh. Cut the shit, or you can both leave. She wasn't really given a choice to leave. Remember? How are they supposed to get in then in if, the, if the gate went open? Well, you said the door closed. Good. You're gonna open it again for us. I mean, it's hardly open. An earthquake shook it loose. Well, let's focus on getting in. We'll need to set shape. Exactly, one thing at a time, guys. Come on. All around here. How the name your new boyfriend may have a problem with that harsh reality. Is it a problem for you? The Mercury is just the worst person. The worst. <laughs> What is this thing? It's got a couple of little what? Oh my god. It's like a virus in her eye. But it's not proto molecule, right? It's something else. Because the colour's not the same. <laughs> You don't have to nurture in the same way when you've got a baby in space by the looks of it. They can just sit up for themselves. What? Oh, it's so cute. Let's get out of here. Hang on. That's one of the reasons she's in my top three characters because she's not only has she got this strength, she's also just really smart as well. This is going to have no luck whatsoever, right? The only way it's going to let you in is if it lets you in, I think. Oh no, maybe there is a hole. Maybe it did work. 
All right, so let's go, let's go, let's go. Are you sure it's safe down there? Nope. Oh. <laughs> what was that for? <laughs> if you have to ask, I must just, just leave it, all right? Anybody in here? Doc! What is going on with her? I need Please to know you all. Please don't here. Help me. <gasps> oh my god! It's really sudden, I wasn't expecting that. <laughs> oh my Christ. So have they lost everything that she just was building? Oh, that she put together, sorry. Oh no, they've still got it. Oh dear. I should be down there with you. That makes you feel better that you're not. Alex. Oh, oh, uh, they would understand. <laughs> <laughs> we can't afford to wait until he gets to Palace. The ship could go dark any time and he could slip away. Yeah, and to capture him, we need to board it. If Brain and Dar see this, they'll give us whatever we need. And this time, Marco won't be able to talk his way out. I really want to see Fred and Dawes again. Oh my god. That is terrifying. Has she got any kind of thing holding her on? Oh my god. I'm getting giddy just thinking about it. Come on. Uh oh. Running out of time, Bobby. She is so good. She knows all this stuff. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> it's quite a tense episode. I keep saying that almost every episode now. Is something bad gonna happen? Oh no, he's got something in his eye as well. These people with the things in their eyes. <laughs> He's just gonna go over the top. Now go out, go in! I don't even know what that episode was called. It's called Displacement. Okay. Um, good stuff. What an action-packed episode. I mean, we had we only really had the two main storylines going on, I guess, which was the them displacing from their their home to in the um to in the in the in the cavern of what or whatever you want to call it, the big cave network, the place. Whatever, wherever that place is, um, and it was just full of drama. I mean, it was just, it was just, it was just an action adventure episode, wasn't it? Because then also we had the kind of like heist thing that was going on um, that uh, Bobby was getting involved with. So those were your main storylines going on, I guess. Um, and then we got this thing with the eye. So it's not, um, it's not thingy, is it? It's not. Proto molecule, it's something else because it's a different colour, it's a different sort of form, but it's a virus of some sort, and there's more than one person that's had that. There's at least two or three people we've seen with that now, and it's starting to become something in the group. I'm worried that it's going to be a virus, which <laughs> a virus in this day and age terrifies me. You never want a virus at the moment, do you? So. Anyway, I really enjoyed that episode. That was really good. Um, there's only four more, I think. So I don't know where we're going to get to in four more episodes. 
they kind of forgot the political shenanigans going on on Earth a little bit this episode. Um, yeah, so that's been kind of left out a little bit. I'm glad that we found out about Lucia's daughter and that she's okay. That's good. Um, what else happened? And then, of course, we've got, ah, Drummer and um, Ashford. And what's his name? Marco. Him being on the ship and then not being impressed by the decision to keep him alive might come back to haunt them by the looks of it. Yeah. So lots going on. But a very, very action-packed episode. I enjoyed that a lot. Um, I don't normally like the kind of like heist kind of movie kind of stuff, but I really enjoyed Bobby's, you know, Bobby's sort of solo venture to get them into that place. Um, I really enjoyed that. I thought it was good. I mean, Bobby is just a G, isn't she? She is just a G. <laughs> anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, then please do comment, like, and subscribe below. If you love the video, then please sign up to my Patreon where you can get full-length, unedited reactions. Thank you very much for watching. I'll be back with another reaction very soon. See you soon. Bye.